Thank you, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Oakland, California. The pregame festivities here in Oakland have to be seen to be believed. This crowd in silver and black, they are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Los Angeles Rams. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And he'll get this one up to the 26. The linebacker that time, Emmanuel Lemur, in on the stop. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Cut. Cut. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Goff now looks to throw, and this is going to be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play, and third down defense, something we got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to put it away. This is taken at the 18. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. And now Oakland ready to take the field. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25 yard line. On first and 10, here's Carr, and incomplete to open things up. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Car to throw after the play fake to Lynch. And he finds his man. It's the former Ram, Jared Cook. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that open things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Carr gives to Marshawn. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. The loss of a full three yards. And now it's second down. Well, that one was over before it could get rolling. How about the D just knifing into the backfield and shutting that one down? Second down, Lynch. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Now, that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. 
And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. Shotgun now for Carr. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of four on the play, and it'll be fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Townsend to punt it. Back deep, the danger is Farrow Cooper. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. On oh, the tackle that time, Bruce Irvin. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half, Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. To throw on second down is gone. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. First down, L.A., golf finding Higby. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. On first down, it's Gurley. Not much there, maybe a couple up to the 35. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Here's Goff now on second down. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it, it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. And he'll be taken down right around the 41 yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. Open man right side is cut complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's the first catch of the game for Cup, and he's got a first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. On second down, here's Goff. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. An agile move, but not a huge gain. Dropped at the 25. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. 
That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the gun, here's gone. And that is incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So on fourth down, here comes Greg Zerline to try and get three for the Rams. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. And Zerline's kick is good. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Here comes Ryan Switzer to return it. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. They'll start on the ground with Lynch, and he stopped immediately there. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. On second down, here's Carr. And he completes it to Jordan Nelson. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A Raiders first down, Carr hooking up with Cook. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Letting one go deep for Roberts. And it's caught. Roberts has it for a Raider touchdown. Seth Roberts, 52 yards. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. Charles, there aren't really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, I was thinking there's no chance that he can actually reach him with that pass. Yet he did, and he's still sprinting. And just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team. To Vecchio now to kick this one away. On the return, it's Farrow Cooper. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And the Rams getting set to go now. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. 
I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass throwing a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to the air, Goff on second down. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38 yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. From the gun on third down, gone. Man open, it's cop. he's got it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 18 yards the gain for number 18. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. They go play action here on first down. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Back live now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Rams with a football to get us going. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. This will be the first red zone opportunity now for the Rams. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Back to throw, gone. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Out of the gun, gone. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll get it here to the ten-yard line. Give him eight on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. And Zerline's kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at seven to six. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. 
And now Oakland ready to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Get down, get down. They start the drive with Lynch. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Oakland after this. Play action. It's Carr. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Aaron Donald. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. On third and long, it's Carr. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. <laughs> Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> <Toe bash. laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> they got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. <laughs> On first down, gone. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. A shotgun snap for Goff. Pass incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. The Rams on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. To the air again. Golf. Over the middle. That's hauled in by Cup. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. Goff now 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, Goff. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. 
Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Give him three on the play, and it'll make it second down. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Goff throwing again. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Brandon Cooks. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams are in for six. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Here's Carr to throw, and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. And off comes to Lynch. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Throwing his car on third down. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Samson Abukum. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Here now, Johnny Townsend. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Cooper fast with a feet. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, L.A. Robert Woods, 68 yards. And the Rams strike quickly here for six points. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed.
Zerlein out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Car to throw on second down. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. The Raiders on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and 19. Alert, alert. From the gun, it's Carr. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it, somehow the ball finds his way back to him. But atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. Right side complete. That's Woods. And he's brought down after a good game. So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. Here we go. Off play action. Here's gone. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. That'll bring up second down. Uh, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. Throwing on third, Goff. He gets it to Gurley, complete. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on him a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. In for the score. And the Rams add on to their lead. Now that touchdown won't allow you to totally relax, but you can breathe a little easier now. Just increased their lead. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. Zerline good with a PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now Oakland ready to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. First down, the run with Lynch. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Now Carr throwing on second down. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That catch good for five. It's third down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. On third down, Carr. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Here now, Johnny Townsend. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. A nice little juke. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at about the 32. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first.
Here's Goff now on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. On third down, they'll run it with Gurley. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Now whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Here's Johnny Hacker now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. There to make the tackle, Samson Abukum. On second down, here's Carr. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. And now the Rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And he's going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. And the Rams are going to go ahead and take another timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here now, Johnny Townsend standing just about on his own goal line. Fast with a feet. 51 yards on the punt there. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Dumps it off to Gurley. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll make it a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. On second down, here's Goff. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, 
creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Now gone. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 18 yards the gain for number 18. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. down and that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten On the counter, Gurley. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Carl Joseph up from his safety spot to make the play. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Switzer now to return. <laughs> and not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Lynch running the counter, and he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing, but with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. The Raiders on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and nine. Shotgun now for Carr. Cooper's got it. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A Raider first down as Carr finds Cooper. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they're going to have to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. They'll run it now out of the gun. Nowhere to go that time. 
He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. The Raiders on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and ten. Working from the gun, it's Carr. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. But it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Time to establish the run game here. Gurley. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Another carry now for Gurley. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. In on the stop, it's to here Whitehead. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. From the gun on third down, gone. Man, open, it's Cup. he's got it. And he'll have the first down as he's up to about the 18. A Ram first down as Goff finds Cup. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. They go play action here on first down. They got a man over the middle. It's Woods. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. the draw. Goff gives to Gurley. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27th. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Again, they run with Gurley. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Mario Edwards Jr. there to bring him down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. The Rams on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and ten. From 
the gun. Here's Gall. Well, that'll be caught by Cup. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. They'll try to get something going with Marshawn Lynch. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Looking to throw on second down. Carr. And this will be incomplete. Jared Cook, the tight end, was the target. And that takes us from second to third down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. The Raiders on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and 11. Operating from the gun, Carr. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. Here now, Johnny Townsend. He's been terrific so far. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. This is taken at the 18. Good move at the 30. A good return there, 17 yards. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Then they'll get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Call. It's caught left side by Cooks. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Four down, four down. Run, 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 run. So that one will be accepted. So the delay of game penalty moves it back five. That makes it second and ten. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. 
He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The Rams on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and four. A shotgun snap for gone. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. With that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. But well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. And they just did not get the snap away in time. They need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Hey, go down, go down. Ah, now a play fake here on first down. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot, but they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Back to throw, gone. And he's got the hook up here, it's Woods. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Goff to Woods as the Rams move the chains. Goff now, a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad, first and 10. He had another carry here tonight for Gurley. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Now a draw as Goff gives to Gurley. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. The Rams on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and nine. Back now in the East Bay. It's the Rams out in front here. They've got control of the football as well as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day and Zerline's kick is good and that lead will move from 20 up now to 23 so it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over, You didn't I turn guess. it over, right? You're giving, it, you're giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away, and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. Wow, now we got to go out there and stop people. So, yeah, there's always something positive to be gained from it. That one goes for 24 yards. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Carnell, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. On the stop was Aaron Donald. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Car to throw on second down. And Nelson's got it here right side. And he's brought down. First down, Raiders, the former Packer, Jordy Nelson, on the receiving end from Carr. Carr now on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Throwing on first down is Carr, and that is incomplete here. Nikel Roby Coleman there defensively. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing his car on third down. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. So pin that one on the rookie right tackle. Remember those days when the right side was simply the run blocking side? Now you're dealing with some of the better pass rushers in the league. It'll make you a little jittery. They're already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Now Carr, got to have this one. He finds Roberts, complete. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Seth Roberts, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Raiders get a score closer. Well, if you've got him in your fantasy league, you like his production, his second touchdown of the game. But right now, his team is trailing 
fortunately, he's playing pretty well and trying to keep him in it. Yeah, they might need a little more from him here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to call his number. Right now, he needs his defense to step up and give him a chance. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Tried to roll out, make a play outside of the pocket, but couldn't get it done. When you don't have a lot of space for your receivers to operate, and down there it's really condensed when you're snapping the ball from the two-yard line, rolling out, you extend the play, but you don't necessarily open up better avenues for people. And on that play, there's just nowhere to go with the ball, and you end up getting sacked. To Vecchio now to kick this one away. Cooper on the return. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Justin Ellis in on the stop. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now a handoff for Gurley. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one, maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 20. now on first down caught by Nelson and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line that one will go as a gain of 11 Raiders having a first down as well decent start to the drive but let's face it they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores yeah they're going to run their two minute offense here in this game but this is for future games can they get better and be ready for the next time hopefully with a chance to win On first down, Carr, he couldn't quite hold it. Got hit, ball pops out, incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Again here on second and ten. And complete right side to Cook. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. You got the big lead defensively. 
willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch, just one yard, making it third and nine. Car going to throw. And hauling it in, Nelson. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Trying here for Bryant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl. Marcus Peters, and the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the right. D linemen to make the play. On the handoff, it's Gurley. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. The linebacker, Derek Johnson, in on the stop. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. They run. It's Gurley. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. But well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out and following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. A good first down call as the screenplay gets him nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Carr throwing on second down. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. On first and 10, here's Carr, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Try it again on second down. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And he's brought down after a good game. That one goes for 24 yards. 
So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now, Carr again. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's gonna have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. First and 10, Carr, he'll get this one to Switzer. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. On second down, here's Carr. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. That was a dangerous throw towards the end zone. Boy, did it hang up there forever. Wanted to run up there and pull it down out of the sky. Yeah, it felt like it really should have been intercepted. Lucky to have that one back. You've got to be more careful when you're that close to the goal line. Carr going to try and throw on third down. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Well, that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, maybe said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. That's to his running back, complete. And out of bounds right around the 20. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. Start out on the ground with Gurley. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Only a yard in the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Go 
Here's Gurley. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Oakland.